ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Twitch, and welcome to the Stack Up. I am your host, Virgil Stack, and uh, thank you for joining me tonight. We'll be playing some Tales of Arise tonight, and uh, Games Matter, thank you for the lurk. And yeah, uh, not much going on with me t today. Uh, yesterday I went out to my car and discovered one of my tires was flat, so I had to, uh, that turned into a whole thing trying to get the tire changed because the I didn't have one of the four ways, so I went to get a four way. And the four way wouldn't get the lug nuts off, so I had to go to a, a Valvoline to get the uh, the power tools and get them to get it off. So, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably be either fixing or replacing that tire sometime this week. But that's about as exciting as my life got. And uh, so, I guess we'll just start the game. And if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm trying a new setup here with OBS on my on my sub monitor. Because it's kind of hard to play Tales of Arise on the on the little screen or looking at the sub monitor, so we're gonna try it this way. Yeah. Okay. Might help if I had the game up. Okay, let's get through this to the... Yeah, yeah. I want to be your girl right now. Let's get past that to uh, avoid uh, muted audio. So, let's see. Where is my... No, don't do that. The game is so impatient. Too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Am I supposed to be here? I hate camping out. Demon Fang! 
By the power Rising Wyvern! How's this? You're surrounded. Just stay calm. Take it! Everything's coming up, Zephyr. Okay, I think... Yeah, I've already been here, so I must, must need to go the other way. I take it we're heading through here then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she... gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. I'd always wanted to... I'm sorry. Don't be. B but... Uh... <sighs> Let's go. Take a look at that. Normally, I don't pick on the Rising Wyvern! I'm ready! I'll run you deep, sir! Split! Save and play! I never Take think. aim and blast it out of the sky! Here I go! I'll run I'm you over. through! Got I've got this! All yours! Never imagined there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? Guess we have to be prepared for anything. Freezing in here, and after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? 
Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renin's. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <laughs> That's why the world needs people like us. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Radar. Normally, I don't pick up. Rising Wyvern! You're only right. getting stuck! Yeah. Demon Fang! How's this? There. Yeah. See ya! Your wing won't save you from me! Rising Wyvern! Here, let me help. Got flyers. I've got this. Let a mark in your hand. Demon Fang! All yours. Take it. Demon Fang! You're mine. Dragon. Rising Wyvern! There, go. You did it. These little ones are hardly Damn. worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it.
careless. Why don't tell me? You're yeah, wrong. Don't go charging off like that. I'm ready. I never miss. Rising Wyvern. Do it. That is coming. Tell it. Do. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on that thing. Uh. Something you wanted to say? We're in good form. flames and my technique we're stronger together than we are apart <sighs> that is one enormous stray I don't think we can take it right now Take a look at that. Radar.
What was that word here? This way. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water. I have a bad feeling about this. A lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> Brace yourselves! This one's tough! You're on! Here I come! Get out of here! Start up! I was overcome today. Shion! Take this! One victory. <sighs> Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans. Yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. 
Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. What is this place, anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before, either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zoogles here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now, come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. 
Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No. It sounded a lot different from mine. But I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Ha-choo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. What's this thing? Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. I noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective Chicken, against my favorite. Them. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey! 
Sigue. Oh. Whoa. Just great. All right. Nice. Right. Right. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. My power growing. until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. No choice. 
Rising Wyvern! Gemini Mirage! Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Mega Ray! Demon Peg! By the power of water! How's this? Rising Wyvern! Challenge! Demon Peg! We're not done! Rising Wyvern! Let me know if you're struggling. <sighs> Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Yeah, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? Let me know if you're struggling. It's awfully quiet around here. Good. This came out just the way I hoped. All right, guys. Ready to go? Together, that wasn't even a problem. <laughs> What's this thing? Demon Peg! Demon 
Like this should be easy. Come one, come on! Demon Fang! I'm on it! Rising armor! That is coming! Take this! Gemini armor! It's over! Demon Fang! Now what you through! That is coming! on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh, yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, that's rich coming from the bright eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. Now, what's going on in that village? 
If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's Head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No! Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? It looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Ganon suffering under them here. Silence, Embedded! Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm! <sighs> Damn it! Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship? Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Demon Fang! Huh. Come on! Fire. You're finished! Fire in the hole! I'm going in! Bring Demon them down! Fang. On, Zephyr. Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you? Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face. Zephyr! 
I got it handled. But he just... He's my son. <sighs> oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. <laughs> Waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family... My people were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. 
Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No. That's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? Take a quick break. So I'll be back a little snoop as soon as I stretch a little bit.
creation across the heavens stems from the six essences we lack only darkness while they are without light thus to achieve perfection what are you muttering over there i was practicing a magic incantation an incantation is it anything like the spells that people use today not quite it takes time for me to finish my chants so i'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately you know just in case i've Always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Go no further! Rising Wyvern! Here I go! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. No complaints here. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh. Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> Go no further! Rising Wyvern! Field! You're mine! I'll be You're finished! This one. Huh. Rising Wyvern! Where was that came from? Demon Pang! Oh, this one. Who wants to die? Cross Barely a blip on our radar. This should be easy. This one's mine. Demon Fang! Rising Wyvern! I'll be saving this one. Light after Demon light. Demon Fang! Kick it off! You're mine! Power of water. Rising Wyvern! Now! You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry. I've got your back. Way. 
way. Rising Wyvern! You picked the wrong fight! Here, let's Demon go! Peg. First aid! Thanks. Yeah, the one for that recipe. You always have an eye for food. I won't forgive you! Rising Wyvern! Stronger. Barely a blip on our radar. Gotta break through! Rising Wyvern! Here I go! Mirage. I'm only getting started! Field! Sword Rain Alpha! Light Astral Energy! Mirage. More with that! We'll quit trying to keep up with the light! Light Alpha! Reload! Yeah. Thunderbolt! Destruction! Burning! Crush! Here I come! Destruction! Short 
I'm ready for the next battle. to me. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle. Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. <sighs> Enemies who can cast astral arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt astral arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. There. Hey, Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, 
I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. spotted one of Hoodle's friends. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax. The coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. <sighs> hey. <sighs> hey. No. <sighs> Yes. Great! Huh? Huh? Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. Can't pet the dog. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. like the Zugal we were told about. Out of our way! 
away. Sword Rain Alpha! My Astro Blade is the power of water! Move on! Take it! It's Destruction! Photon dance in the wind! Seven on the Alpha! Now. Who wants to die next? Is that the Zugul we're looking for? Should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. Friends, Hoodle? Hey. Huh? Till next time. Hmm. Huh? I guess. Oh! in trouble here well let's see what they have to say you see anybody around here who could use our help we can't chase after every little thing this yeah yeah <laughs> hmm. what <sighs> huh hmm? <laughs> just great <sighs> They reacted just like we expected. Yeah. 
Do you think we'd end up like that if we had to treat everyone with suspicion? It's like the bitter cold has frozen the hearts of those who live here. Stay Be calm. We don't know where they took Zephyr yet. Someone in trouble here. Hoo -hoo. Well, let's see what they have to say. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Are you a little bastard? one of Hoodle's friends. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Bah. Hmm? Hey. What? Ah, uh, my guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good. <sighs> Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the snake eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. What's this thing? You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <sighs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? S Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. 
You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Cisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet! You're trying to get us all killed! Out oh, of hell with that! Go on, report me! See if I care! I thought this Cisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Cisloden it is. <laughs> People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Cisladin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Cisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zugals? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? Mm. I only have one pair of hands, you know. Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I'd refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is, if we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. And if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. 
Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. <sighs> I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know... Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Well... I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them, and see how it goes. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. So this is the forest team with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or we're too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I'll have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it. Little help! There! Short way to help, boss! No more! Fire in the water! Destruction! No escape! Here goes! Lunar Blast! Short way to help! Barely a blip on our radar. Ooh, it's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly then. Like this should be easy. Strike in the wind! It's over! Not on my watch! Let them mark! Short rain alpha! Easter! Whatever you do, just stay away from the score! Short rain alpha! Grimmer! Astral energy! Say no more! We've got the ingredients. Let's get them back to Messia. You sure showed them! All in a day's work.
I hate camping out. Stay sharp. We're going in. the prize. Could be useful. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. But why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why are there so many Zoogles walking around? I think they're used as lookouts. The Renans know how to control them. Complaining's not going to get us anywhere. Let's just get through this and... Get lost! Rising Wyvern! Sleep now. Take it. Oh, Here I come. This one. It's over. Hey, Destruct this. Banana, Do it. Destruct well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the clock. I'm quite take aware it. without you. This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Here I come! 
Take this? With this, I can become even stronger. Looks like some solid equipment. Something you wanted to say? This 
medicine works as promised. Sword Raider Alpha! Take that! Gemini Aqua! They really made us work for that one. What's wrong? Huh? I guess. <laughs> Got it. For real? We've got company, and not the nice kind either. Rimwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target, at least. Don't underestimate its speed. You're mine! You're finished! Air thrust! I'll take you all off! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, Let more fun. Cut them apart to your heart's content. First aid! Headspider! If it's in the sky, it's mine! Heart sealed! <laughs> you picked the wrong Steering fight! Flame. Reload! Go time uh, flame. Flame. Now back into the fray! Confiscated! By the power of water! Uh. Here goes! Dance in the wind! Here, let me help! In here! Wind. First aid! Thanks. Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Stop! 
sleep now. Let's get you all back to work. Destruction! Reload! Yeah. Crush! Here, let's go. Let's go. let's go! Here, let me help. Seal it! Let's get you all tucked away. <laughs> By the power of water! Huh? Oh, no. It's showtime! Sleep now. Seven Let me help. First Okay, day. here I go. Take it down! Here comes! Sword Rain Alpha! Reload! Thunderblade! Mega Ray! This Spirit one's all mine! That move! Huh? Here comes the big one! Watch and win! Severing wind! Spirit Blade! Yeah. River! Astral Energy! Say no more! There's no telling what it'll do. Stay focused. In here. More sprinkles. Keep calm and take them down. Sword Rain Alpha. Here's a healing arc. Thunderblade. Now I can let loose. Back into the Sword Rain Alpha. Lightning congest. Thunderblade. Severing wind. Wind. Dance in the wind. Sleep now. They're not playing around. Do they not teach you to say thank you in Dana? Not to a Renin, they don't. Resuscitation! Huh. A banana! Let's go! Where are you going? Thunderblade! Confiscated! Spirit Flame! Sword Ray Alpha! Strata! Mega Ray! Sealed! Gemini Aqua! Awesome. More from the top pile! It's Seven about to break! Look sharp, everyone! Here, let me help! Here, Save! One last lightning there! Contest. When it's almost in the back. Not done yet. Just falling back. Then it's time for you to do what you do best. Destruction! I'm only getting started. By the power Let's of water. Let's your energy. Got it. Huh. Now's our chance. Take that. Destruction! Seven eye off. Lightning to death. Sword Rain Let's Alpha. Sight. I'm Wind. only getting started. Lightning to death. Seven eye off. Thunder Blade. Destruction! They're not playing around. Crush! From death to bliss. Right now! It's over! Astral energy! Full throttle! Go! <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. What do you notice now? It smells like blood. This is... All these Zoogles... They're dead. What happened here? They didn't do this to each other. So then how... Did all of this?
Who was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <sighs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again. Okay, time for another stretch break. I'll be back in just a few. to it.
land of glistening radiance, Cislodia. There it is, Cisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Are those mage clothes that you're wearing? So what if they are? The large hood is cute, and it's big enough to hold Hoodle, too. Huh? And the way the fabric is cut into strips is really unique. I had no idea this sort of fashion existed on Dana. C -c quit staring! Did I say something to offend you? No, I think she's just not used to the attention. As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously. Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calaglia's no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, all those fires are a pretty weird phenomenon. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire is as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. They're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. Another 
day, another dollar, another wall, another tower. Is that how that saying goes? I think he's saying something's over there. Friends, Hoodle? What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see ah. something big farther in. Is that a zookal? No, an owl? <laughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are. And a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Ha! 
Sense one of your pals, Hoodle? So the guys we saw back in Messiah were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is. The Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the Snake Eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. But it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. Right, here goes! Hope this works! Here I go! Uh, yes. Yes. More with Short Rain Alpha! Gemini Alpha! Huh. Lightning Condemned! Wings! Blade. 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 Your power is I'm not trying to be dramatic with it. We want that by a mile! of the trash. <laughs> back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, a Zoogal took a bite out of two of our guys, but what matters is you're safe. So, are you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Shion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? 
Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rewell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Maybe it's time I try on something new. Like this should be easy. Eat this! Steering flare! Short range alpha! Shield to the wing! Burning air thrust! Come down! Here, let me Short range alpha! Let me again! Thunderbolt! Here I go! You're mine! By the well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you air reminding me. Here's a healing arc! First aid! I owe you one. Short range alpha! Okay, here now. I go. Sword Rain! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. 
bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. practice then why bother fighting them because I certainly won't run away from a battle this will be a delicious piece of cake Hear me. Right right now, so fury. Burning this will come in handy Raising Severing flame. Flame. Steering flame. In in Sword Rain Alpha Let Let the marksman handle this Crush. We did it! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more power. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Do it! Easy peasy, huh, Hoodle? How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cislodens an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. One of your friends, Hoodle? So this is Cisloden, capital city of Cislonia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zugul's den here.
There are shops here? On a permit basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the... Floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. This place really is different <laughs> from Calaglia. Good to see you. Who's this? They're with me. If you say so. Come on, Menek's waiting. We can talk in there. The name's Menek, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. Let's head into town and see what the fuss is.
Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Have you and Menek known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first, but he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. I think that's a sign of how desperate things have become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so was it the Snake Eyes who... No, it wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving. where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. See where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just Snake Eyes we need to watch out for, but other Denons too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many... Ah, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. That 
Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. That's bound to wear you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing, talking too loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed. You, huh? Why you? Sorry. That's a good place to stop for tonight. Get my mouse cursor back. Okay. We'll find somebody to raid here. See who's on. Read Angel. Haven't read her in a while. All right. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will be back on Thursday playing more Tales of Our Eyes. Then on March 7th will be the next Tuesday night's main event. So I will. See you all then.